First thing will be the rule of law so that uh, every citizen will have a right either uh, to speak uh, uh, freely because freedom of, of speech, of expression is a fundamental human right. To protest is a fundamental human right. So we are keeping uh, notes of this uh, administration, but we wish him success. Okay, um, you so pick interest in the time of the common people. Why? Well, you know, uh, downtrodden is a main word. Everybody are equal in the eyes of the Creator. Whether you are downtrodden, whether you are elite, whether you are rich or poor. So, uh, I, I don't know what is tarot. I, I don't live by it. And I, I feel that we are all one in the eyes of God. And if I have any any strengths, any means to represent the very poor, I assure you I will be there to do exactly what I'm doing now. Well, I said that has taken us to a series of litigations. Those are not your personal fight. It's a fight for the people, a fight for the masses. You have a series of litigations, some you have won, some are against the former minister, some are against the government, some are against the, the, the state government, and so on and so forth. So, so why the interest in those litigations? You spend personal money. Yeah, but somebody have to do it. That's why I told you before the interview that uh, uh, there are some of us who get into necessary trouble. And this is a part of the necessary trouble. Because what uh, ordinarily is not your business, you become um, in front front to fight for it. It's a trouble that is necessary. Because if we don't do it, who's going to do it? So we do it because uh, uh, as, as we do it, there are other people who also follow as steps and do the same thing. But let me tell you something, Brother Obamodia. Whatever I am doing is not extraordinary. You know, it's just just a male ordinary thing I'm doing. But I appreciate that some of you recognize what I'm doing. But I, I don't want to really take credit or you know get some branding on what I'm doing. I think thinking that whatever I'm doing is normal. We need to be a brothers, a sister, keeper. Okay. As I said you are a politician. You will know one that matter, not just in the state in Nigeria, you are a member of the Labour Party. But those state is around the corner, the heat is already on, and a lot of aspirants are coming up, and a lot of issues are equally coming up in the Labour Party. You have raised some issues why, about a week, some weeks ago, why Labour was get it right. Now, what is your take in the 2024? Well, first of all, let me quickly correct this idea because everybody is a political animal, right? But I rather want to describe or seen of as Nigeria of today as a visionary leader, not as a politician. Because we use the word politician in Nigeria, people take a deep breath. It's like talking something like you are a pastor with respect to most pastors, you know? Because the most favorably uh, uh, occupation uh, or uh, um, most uh, probably the occupation people are very proud of today or brings a lot of money is PPP, which is the pastors and the politicians. <laughs> so I wouldn't want to be addressed as a politician rather than a visionary leader. You know, so uh, as a visionary leader of somebody who is very patriotic, who may wear uh, for his country, I, I think that uh, being part of the Labour Party uh, is organic for me. and. Uh, you know, working alongside with uh, His Excellency Peter Gregory uh, of OB is a chain of joy to me because uh, uh, you will know from the past that the two major uh, political parties that is responsible for uh, a quagmire today is uh, APC and, uh, and PDP. Don't forget in a hurry that uh, the man who speaks from his double side of his mouth, he said, we can say, the APC is cancerous. Today is having a cancer now. I'm happy for him. So, so Labour Party is organic, and that's why we are very happy uh, that I'm part of the Labour Party, and we're going to ensure that uh, come this election, if we get it right and get the right candidate, we're going to sweep out uh, APC and PDP. They will be something of the past. Trust me. Are you are you equally going to zone your, your governorship in the state? Well, you know, I think uh, for the sake of equity and uh, equity and uh, peace, unity, 
progress as you may. I think uh, if you are talking about equity, you will know that the Asian people are also a dolite, they are part of us. Uh, I understand the agitation that it is their turn, but the difference between Edo State and Lagos State is Edo not be Lagos. We don't have that Emiloko syndrome in Edo State. I believe that you who the car fit should wear the car. I voted for Amber Sali to interest you. I worked directly with the late Amber Sali, may so rest in peace, with our father, Ima Fridon, who was in area, area, area street. Uh, with our brother, who is who's also not here with us again, uh, he was the commissioner of uh, works, uh, Sam Iridia, who, who you are very familiar with, right? And, uh, you know, there was no question about whether it's an Ishama or a Minima, but the question was, it was, was, was he qualified? So we all work alongside and we deliver him. And don't also forget that Osumbo Osarime was also an Ishama. The question was when he was in a place, he was a, he was a qualified a law professor uh, with a good... Uh, a good track record. We also voted for him, despite that something happened and the victory was not done. We'll give it to Shomole. So, I am not one who believed in rotation or quota system because it has not helped us. If you look at the rotation system today, you have over 15 Amajari in the street of the north. In spite of that, they stole an oil from the Niger Delta. But the disgruntled leader they have there took the money to Saudi Arabia and America. They didn't even help their citizens with it. So, what has the quarter system done for you? Nothing. Today, APC, uh, APC uh, chairman, Dan Goje, what's his name again? Dan, uh, Dan Goje, Dan were caught in the live TV, stocking dollars in his pocket. He was rewarded to become uh, a chieftain of uh, APC. Uh, the minister of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, Abuja today, as you well know, is Wins uh, uh, Wiki, who just recently is fighting his... Uh, Adopters to yeah, divided two billion every month from me. Is it the kind of Nigeria we want to live? No, we must change the status quo, and that's why I do what I do, and that's why I call names, and that's why I speak to to power, not because uh, I'm not concerned about my well-being or by my life, but something must kill a man who's afraid to die. You know, when you have the truth, you say the truth. You must speak to to power, and I think what Nigeria. Uh, where they have found their place is that uh, majority of Nigerians have accepted defeat that they can't speak, they have no choice, but you don't have a choice because it is not something about the master and the slave. If they were truly elected, we elected you, and therefore we have a right to question how you lead us. So I think uh, I derive from your question, but pardon me about that, but I want to express this to the ordinary Nigerians that. This country belongs to us. And I, not, I do not believe in the quota system because you cannot go and bring the worst from your tribe and to rule Nigeria or my state. But if you bring the very best from Eastern Central, <laughs> you bring the very best from Esako, you bring the very best from Edo State, I am likely to be swayed to vote for the very best because two things come first in my mind, my country. I am not patriotic or loyal to any political party, but I'm loyal and patriotic to Nigeria and to my state. Over at Yes, sir. Okay, the 